Frosty with us on the journey for the 2022-23 campaign. What's your thoughts going into that new season? Just really looking forward to it. I think um, it's a bit cliche, but I think a lot of lads have said it. You know, really good group of lads, really excited. We, you know, we were a new squad at the start of the season, but actually, you know, with the players that are staying, we're just really excited. It's going to be a good season. We were joking off camera that you are a championship veteran, but it was your first season with us here at Goldington Road last time out. What did you make of your first eight months here with us at Bedford Blues? I loved it. I said, you know, I said in the summer, and I chat to you about, you, you hear rumours about clubs and I've only ever heard good things about Bedford and, and it was that and more. I loved it. It was a great season, especially off the back of the strange COVID season. What a way to get back into, you know, rugby, especially with the fans and um, yeah, good year. And you came right in the middle of our uh, initial strategic partnership with Northampton Saints and you got some really good value out of that, played a few games for Northampton Saints as well. What did you make of the campaign as a whole? Yeah, good. It was yeah, like mixed experience, like you said. P played a little bit for Saints, the two games. That was really good and, and fair play to Mikey for sort of giving me that opportunity to go and go and play there. I, I love that experience. But also, you know, when I came back to Bedford for the, for the cup run, you know, it was it, it felt like home again. It was good. It was um, with your mates and um, in front of the crowd. It was, yeah, good season. Getting to the quarterfinals of the Cup, finishing fifth in the table. Does it fuel that fire that you want to go a little bit further next time out? Yeah, we can do better. We know that, I think. Um, we're a little bit frustrated. I think fifth, you can say, you know, best part-time team, um, but we're better than that and, and we want more than that. So I think everyone's ready to go that step further next season. And yeah, how the Cup ended, um, you know, some of us are still a little bit sour and think we could have gone all the way. So, um, yeah, we've got a few, few things to fix up next year, which is just exciting, really. Could you hone in on maybe what the, speci what the specific targets are for you and the team as a whole? <sighs> Probably that consistency. You know, some of the performances we put in this, push, put in this year were up there with, with the top four, um, especially beating, beating three of them. Um, and then, you know, against teams lower down in the table, we just weren't able to convert or or play our usual style of rugby. So I think it's just remaining consistent um, and just being able to churn those performances out that everyone loves to see, like Boxing Day or Ealing, week after week, and actually we'll be in a really good position. A couple of weeks now until we come back for pre-season. How do you spend the off-season and how much do you focus on being ready to come back for pre-season? Uh, I think, you know, it's natural just to take a week to sort of let, let the dust settle. Um, but. I'm not one for sort of sitting around, you know, I'd like, like to spend a bit of time getting fit, get back into the gym, because when you're playing, you're just really preparing your body to play on a Saturday. Actually, it's nice just to get a little bit fit again. And um, yeah, so I think I'll spend the next couple of weeks just sort of keeping myself ticking over. And then, you know, you start getting those, that feelings again that the season's coming up, pre-season's coming up, you know there's going to be some hard work, so you get yourself ready for it again. So, yeah. Um you obviously spent last season in the players house as well is that something that you'll be looking to do again you've sort of ingratiated yourself in Bedford as well you've got a job around here it's kind of working for you at the moment yeah I feel, actually feel really settled you know I um, um, teach alongside Louis um, at Bidenham School which has been great and they've been brilliant with me especially for that work-life balance has been really good um, and spending the time you know living with the lads is I think it's an important part of it it makes it it makes you know being being a rugby player worth it it's you know it's good fun um and and why not i really enjoying bedford and yeah same again next year we know how much the squad care about our supporters i guess it's the best place to end this uh re-signing in to be what's your final message to the supporters going into the 2022-23 campaign just a just a massive thank you i was i was blown away you know before i thought it was just the numbers to the game but actually it's the interactions after it's how much they care and and, and come and support so a massive thank you because you've made me feel really welcome and um, definitely a massive part of my decision to stay well frosty it's great to have you with us on the journey for the 2022-23 campaign we look forward to seeing you in uh, a couple of weeks time for the start of our pre-season training look forward to it